Ask My Instructor 3.4.13. In this problem, we're being asked to find the limit of this rational expression, sine of x minus 16 over x squared minus 16 squared. Notice that the denominator can be factored. And so we can write the limit in this manner. Recall, as long as both the limit of f and the limit of g exists, you can break the limit of a product into a product of the limits. And in this case, breaking it up in this manner would be very helpful. However, we don't know if we can do this. The question we're going to ask is, are the individual limits, do they exist? If they do, then the overall limit exists and will be the product. The second limit is the easiest one to do, so we will do that first. We are taking the limit of a rational expression 1 over x plus 16. where the denominator is not 0 at the target point x equals 16. So the target point is 16, and the denominator is not going to 0 there. So to find the limit, we need only evaluate 1 over x plus 16 for that target point. And so the limit as x goes to 16 is 1 over 32. And we have that the second limit it does exist and is equal to 1 over 32. As I said, that's the easier one. How about the more difficult one? Recall that sine of t over t, as t goes to 0, that expression is going to 1. How can we use this fact to help us evaluate the limit that we're looking for? Let t be x minus 16. If t is x minus 16, then x going to 16 is equivalent to t going to 0. And we can rewrite the limit in this manner. And that tells us that the limit is equal to 1. So the first limit exists and is equal to 1. The second limit exists and is equal to 1. And so we can take the product and conclude that the overall limit is equal to 1 over 32. Take care, have a good day, and let me know if you have any questions.